Kai, you mentioned last night how big it would be to finish off this game here heading into the All-Star break on the right note. How are you guys feeling now, 8-1, going into break? Uh, feeling good. Obviously not satisfied, but, um, you know, as a veteran team, you know, this is, this is our job uh, to come into All-Star break feeling really good, coming into the month of February, uh, playing at an extremely high level. And you just want to continue that going into break, and hopefully we can continue after. So, um, you know, I know guys are, you know, taking a little vacation. Um, and, you know, this is always a break for all of us mentally and uh, physically. Um, so, you know, I just all the guys enjoy it as much as possible. And then when it's time to get back to work, we'll be ready. Kyrie, it seems like Kyle finally fits in and looks very at ease now in this offense. What, what does he do for you guys? Um, He's just he's just a, a very mature basketball player and understanding where he comes from, um, the type of style of basketball that he's a that he fits best in, um, you know, and being out there with guys that can make plays not only for him, um, but he can make plays for us too. Uh, coming off those pin downs, doing things uh, on the defensive end as well, and really just being a runner um, and, and, and being professional every single day. Uh, you know, he just listens very well, but he's a veteran. He's been in this league for a while, um, and he's a shot maker, but also the little things that he does kind of goes unnoticed, um, but we all notice him, and we all just continue to encourage not only him, but everyone else. Ty threw out a possible lineup of you, him, LeBron, JR, and, like, Channing. Um, have you let your mind go there and, and what that might be like and how difficult that could oh, be yeah. to guard those kinds of three, three one shooters and playmakers? Uh, it's just an idea. Just an idea, man. Um, when it comes to that point, we start going over plays. Um, you know, I think I'll be a little bit more locked in. So, um, obviously, there are some dream lineups that we all had in mind that completely didn't work at first. Uh, but, you know, if we get that, that type of lineup and that idea works, then I'm all for it. So. When, do you, when do you um, start getting ready for the three-point? I've been, I've, I've been locked you've been, in. You've been yeah. doing that? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Like going through Preparing the Preparing for it? Nah. No, nah. No pre-game? Nah, this is my fourth time doing it. I think I'm, I'm locked in. I'm locked in for it. Kyrie, after what happened in January with you guys having a losing record, what has changed in February? Uh, just I, I think that everyone's at a, a, in a comfortable place. Um, you know, I, it just takes time. It takes time to integrate uh, another guy into the another team one. to, to yeah. fill in. Um, a particular yeah. thing that we're looking for, um, you know, our identity was it was kind of all over the place. Guys were going down. I mean, guys were in and out of the lineup. Um, you know, it was a, it was a it was a learning experience in January and coming into February. I guess like we're just a great team again uh, by by all accounts. So um, you know, we we've just stayed the course and we've understood that everything that happens in this locker room all matters to us. And, and we we're completely honest and we trust one another. And we're playing at a high level. We're tough to beat. So. No, right now. How was it without Kevin tonight? Hmm? How was it without Kevin? I mean, this is the second game um, without Kev. So, I mean, for us, we all understand it's just next man up. Uh, you know, we, we all texted Kev, make sure he's all right, make sure the surgery went okay. So.